The drugs used in angina pectoris either enhance myocardial oxygen supply or reduce myocardial oxygen demand. Nitrates, calcium channel blockers, beta blockers and newer drugs renolazine and trimetazidine which modify myocardial metabolism are primarily used in treatment of angina pectoris. Nitrates. The nitroglycerin or gl serotrinitrate GTN, is prototype agents of the class. Isosorbide mononitrate, isosorbide dinitrate and pentarithridyl tetranitrate are other commonly used nitrate. Mechanism of action. Nitrates release nitric oxide NO within smooth muscle cells. Nitric oxide stimulates the intracellular soluble guanylate cyclase, which leads to an increase in formation of intracellular cyclic guanosine monophosphate CGMP. CGMP activates CGMP-dependent kinases decrease phosphorylation of myosin light chains by increasing activity of myosin light chain phosphatase an enzyme that removes phosphate. The reduced phosphorylation of myosin light chains causes vasodilation. Nitroglycerin dilates both venous smooth muscle and arteriolar smooth muscle, however, effect on the venous capacitance system predominates. The dilation of the capacitance vessels leads to pooling of blood in the veins and reduced venous return to the heart and decreased preload. Reduction in ventricular pressure results in a decrease in the myocardial wall tension and oxygen requirement. The reduction in left ventricular end diastolic pressure reduces extravascular compression around the subendocardial vessels favors redistribution of coronary blood flow to this area. Adverse effects. The most common adverse effects of organic nitrates are headache, hypotension, dizziness, and reflex tachycardia. Tolerance to nitrate-induced headache develops after a few days of therapy. Adrenoceptor blocking agents. All beta blockers are effective in the treatment of classical angina. The beta adrenergic blockers decrease the oxygen demands of the myocardium by decreasing heart rate, contractility, cardiac output and blood pressure. Beta-1 blockers such as metoprolol and atenolol are preferred. However, beta blockers are ineffective in vasospastic angina. Calcium channel blockers. The calcium channel blockers primarily affect the resistance of peripheral and coronary arteriolar smooth muscle. The calcium channel blockers reduce myocardial oxygen consumption by decreasing vascular resistance afterload. Their efficacy in vasospastic angina is due to relaxation of the coronary arteries. Dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers amlodipine, philodipine, isratipine, nicardipine, nifedipine, and nimodipine are having arteriolar vasodilators action with a minimal effect on cardiac conduction heart rate. Amlodipine and nifedipine is useful in the treatment of variant angina caused by spontaneous coronary spasm. Verapamil slows atrioventricular AV conduction directly and decreases heart rate, contractility, blood pressure, and oxygen demand. Diltiazem also slows AV conduction, decreases the rate of firing of the sinus node pacemaker and is also a coronary artery vasodilator. Diltiazem can relieve coronary artery spasm and is particularly useful in patients with variant angina. Drugs that modify myocardial metabolism. Renolazine blocks the pathologic activation or prolongation of the late inward sodium current in heart cells that leads to excessive intracellular sodium and calcium accumulation and contributes to an imbalance between oxygen supply and demand during ischemia. Trimetazidine. The heart uses glucose, fatty acids, and lactate as sources of energy. Although fatty acids are the major fuel for the heart, glucose is metabolized more efficiently and generates more energy per unit of oxygen used. Trimetazidine inhibits ketoacyl coenzyme thiolase, a key enzyme in the beta oxidation pathway of fatty acid metabolism. The resulting decrease in fatty acid oxidation evokes a compensatory increase in glucose metabolism and reduces oxygen consumption. Like, share, and subscribe the channel.